Hi, welcome to our presentation. We are team 2.2 and we have produced the Bonitos water tower system. On our team, we have Bavik, Safwan, Yapit, Nemishan and myself, Devon. We are here because of the EWB and Ecosfall organization. Humanity has achieved incredible things, but progress has brought us to a preliminary tipping point. Globally responsible engineering can bring us back from the brink. We are here trying to increase the accessibility of potable water to the local communities of Peru to give Earth a chance. In this presentation, we'll be talking about the communities of Libitos and Pedritas, and we'll be analysing the local water systems that has been already established in these communities and how effective and sanitary the water produced by these systems. We will then talk about our proposed water harvesting system and evaluate our design solution, also listing the benefits it will bring to the community's economy and the environment. A bit more background about the scenario we have been given. Lobitos is a small fishing town and it has a surfing attraction that attracts international tourists every year, while Pedrita is a uh, is part of an ecotourism friendly territory in an equatorial forest. So in economical sector, 45% of water that is being transported into the city is lost from transportation. Lack of urban planning for the construction of hotels means no source of income and limited employment opportunities leading into poverty. For political, Lobitos has a large natural coastal resources that has a large social and economic value that has been neglected by the political leaders and local communities. There was a military coup in 1968 that changed Lobitos forever. The oil assets were nationalized, forcing the foreign companies to leave because of that. Architects started to degrade due to lack of income and the fishermen declined into poverty. For social, most of the household, ho households in Lobitos is not connected to a sewer system. Those who are not connected have created their own cesspits or even share between two households, which arises another problem of sanitation. Both cities are water dependent on the main city of Talara with shortages of water and sc scarcity of being the norm, leading to illegal water tapping. Finally, for the environment, there is an increasing rate of de deforestation, illegal dumping and toxic water waste, which leads to the water source being polluted and all of this being harmful to the environment. Ecoswell is a sustainable development non-governmental organization who are promoting a visionary future in which ecosystem can thrive together. Our project's ideology matches with Ecoswell, so we're going to be following their footsteps into executing our idea in a professional manner. We're planning to use eco-friendly materials without creating any excess waste so that it just meets the needs for the present moment without compromising the future generation's needs. There is around 2.5 million people who are unable to have clean water in Peru, which is the main reason why our team is creating a new solution that will provide the people in Peru with safe, clean water that's easy to access. Untreated wastewater is a huge problem as this directly inf impacts the local environment. This can also put stress on the local healthcare system and increases the transmission of diseases. Only two companies have treated their waste sewage po water properly. Unfortunately, waste systems collapse too and untreated water spills into the environment. Rural areas of Libitos have very little access to clean water, which directly affects sanitation. Poor sanitation can put excess stress on the local healthcare system. With clean water, daily sanitation will improve, which can reduce the transfer of unwanted viruses and bacteria. Providing clean water will also help in the kitchen with food goods washed with clean water. As you can see, humidity on average in Lobitos is at a 58% average, with highs of 68% in the second and third quarters of the year and lows of 50% in the first and fourth quarters of the year. This is excellent for our project as humidity does not have a big range, thus allowing our system to produce water consistently through the year. Dry months of Lobitos, which is by the shore, will allow lots of water to be ready to be harvested. A similar project was used in Dawes, Ethiopia, and collected 100 litres a day, with an average humidity of 60%. With our improvements to the system, estimated amounts could be higher than 100 litres a day harvested. 
This access of clean potable water could save money for the locals as the water will not need to be treated. Several concept iterations were carried out to determine the most suitable one for ensuring a reliable water supply to Lobitos and Piedritas. The first and subsequent design iterations were inspired by the Warka Water Tower project as well as the regional area of Peru. The first design's focal points are the bamboo structure and the fish head showpiece at the top of the tower. This arrangement, however, proved ineffective since the fish head would cover a larger portion of the tower, reducing its effectiveness in water harvesting, not to mention the increased stresses and strains the structure would face. A public entrance to the tower was created in the second design iteration by lowering the fish head to the ground. The tower's performance would be at its best in this configuration, however concerns about properly attaching the entrance to the tower remained, which would be addressed in a future revision. An adequate attachment of the entrance to the tower was created in the third design iteration with an additional round barrier covering the lower end. The barrier works in tandem with the fabric canopy to keep water droplets from evaporating. In order to attract tourists from a greater distance, a fishtail showpiece was added to the top of the tower. These modifications proved to be adequate, but there were concerns about the structural rigidity of the fishtail piece and the tower, which required additional refinement and adjustments. The final project design addressed all previous issues and it can now be viewed as an alternative and reliable solution to the region's water supply concerns in Lobitos and Piedritas. The fish tail is now fully rigid and stresses on the overall tower structure are significantly reduced. It also improves the tower's effectiveness by allowing for additional meshing and canopy extensions. The fish head entrance is now connected to the tower, which makes it easier for public access. Now we will take a look at the key functionality of our Vinitas water tower. The first key area is the bamboo structure. This itself is designed using a parametric bamboo architectural design. This particularly supports the meshing and the canopy within the Bonito water tower. Bamboo was chosen mainly due to its flexibility and durability properties it will give throughout this structure, not to mention its sustainability properties. The second key area is the mesh and canopy. Water condenses against the polyester meshing and the fabric canopy acts as a sunshade, preventing the water droplets from evaporating. It also has a filtration component to allow for potable water to flow downwards. The third key area is the water recipient. This is designed to hold 100 litres of harvested water and is made from long sustainable biodegradable plastic. The fourth key area is the bamboo barrier. This acts as a safe barrier surrounding the tower. It has windows made from biodegradable plastic which surround the area to allow sunlight to flow through. This allows users to easily be able to move around and collect the harvested water. The fifth key area is the fish head entry. This as a team is what we're most proud of. That is being able to intertwine the village's historical identity of the fishing industry with the fish head as well as incorporating Peru Peru's tricolor scheme on either side of the head, not to mention the functionality of the design. The fish head acts as the entry point to the village people and we have added a ramp to cater for wheelchair access. The fish head acts as a symbol to, to the people and we hope it will attract tourists to the surrounding area. The sixth, the sixth key area is a fish tail crown. This is situated at the top of the tower acting as a showpiece. The tail benefits the tower from preserving its rigidity and strength which we hope will improve the watering, water harvesting capabilities as a whole. With the water collection system in place, there are multiplier effects that are caused by the successful usage of the water collection system. Since the tower is a better, cleaner water source, this means that there is a lower risk of people falling ill from, con from contaminated water. This means there will be less expenditure on healthcare as the people are less likely to fall ill. Children are most likely at risk from water-related diseases, so providing clean water will result in better health, which means better school attendance with positive long-term benefits for their lives and community. Cleaner water also increases sanitation standards, as cleaner water allows food to be cleaned thoroughly and personal hygiene would hopefully increase with this. Not only does the tower function as a reliable water source for the people, it also serves as a tourist attraction. The tower stands at 30 feet tall and is made up of natural material. It is also a monument for the fishermen as it is shaped like a fish, as shown in the previous designs. 
Having an increase in tourism means that the local economy will hopefully be blooming. These are the stakeholders that we're going to be focusing on. Some of them have different relevance to others, such as education having a medium relevance, water industry having a low relevance, and all the other stakeholders having a high relevance. The listed communication and communication channel varies to the different types of stakeholders. There can be many communication and communication channel for one stakeholder. They are just some of the main methods that we're going to be carrying out. The Lobitas and Piers Retest community and environment was researched thoroughly, and so much was learnt through the process of building a water system. The water system itself has been researched a great amount and has increased our capability and understanding as aspiring engineers. Through this process, we have learnt about the built environment, sanitation, energy, waste, food, digital and transport issues. Understanding not all problems can be solved so easily, we decided to focus on access to water. Finding eco-friendly ways to allow access to water to the rural areas of Lobitos and Piedritas. Our solution, the Benitos Water Tower, will allow water access to the further rural areas, increasing access to better quality of life and sanitation. We are Team 2.2 and thank you for listening.